role and my team's role is very much SaaS expert guidance. You know, we're the impartial source of strategy planning and education and, and really helping people think about the multitude of ways that they can make their pensions work and they can make their SaaS money work. Um, so I guess more strategic level rather than tactical, um, covering a lot of different things, but primarily education and, and sort of support and connections. Sort of follows the principles of the Wheel of Wealth, which I'm sure the members will all be very familiar with. Indeed. Okay. All right. And over to you, Paul. Sure. Okay. You can see my screen. Okay, Chris, everything looking good? Yes. Yeah, all good. Okay. So um, as the slide there says, you know, we're going to be talking today about what we call the three A's of taking control of your pensions. And, you know, it's a principle really that I'm sure you're going to be familiar with because just like building wealth in any of your pillars, really, that, that has to come from having a place, being in a place of control. And that means in some cases, you know, really grabbing this thing by the scruff of the neck and, and shaking it up and bringing it into, you know, 2020. Um, I'm sure with lots of people here, there'll be lots and lots of different types of pension. But, you know, sadly, for those that don't already have um, a SAS, which I'll be coming on to a bit later, um, lots of people don't really have control of their pensions and so you know as you probably imagine we're hugely passionate about teaching people how to make their pensions work harder and you know it's not actually as complicated as you might think and and there are some basic things that everyone can do and I'll be coming on to that in a moment to to really think about and look into the ways they can they can take control of their pension. I would say from working with lots of people that you know, there's a scary moment in a lot of people's lives when they crunch the numbers and actually understand what it is their pension's going to do if they sit back and do nothing. And, and actually, you know, that in, in so many cases is enough of a catalyst to get people to start thinking more positively about their pensions, to engage with their pensions. And there's a really sort of simple rule that you can use that we call the rule of five and three. Um, and it's really only for money in the markets pension where you're investing your money in the stock markets in the traditional way. But it's, uh, it's quite an accurate, there's, you know, there's a reasonable amount of science behind this. And it's quite an accurate way of understanding what a pension is likely to return to you. And in any one year, what the amount of growth that pension could provide to you would be, but at the same time, what the potential downside risk is. 